Now to a mid-state movie premiere like no other, Republican nominee for Governor Doug Mastriano is featured prominently in the film, which was screened inside a Cumberland County church over the weekend, and I was the only TV reporter allowed inside. If the church will screen it, they will come, and the flock assembled in huge numbers, some 1,200 strong. A VIP reception gave a couple hundred a couple minutes with Doug Mastriano and wife Rebby, who always shares his stage and his microphone. She told the congregants she and Doug do devotions every day, that she was nervous about running for office, but found peace in scripture. Jesus actually spoke to me and said, child, don't be afraid to get out of the boat. Mastriano called the Christ Community Church and the attendees courageous for defying the critics who assail his campaign. Because they lack reason, they lack logic, facts on their side. They don't even know what a woman is. Come on. Mastriano opposes gay marriage, abortion exceptions, and is called extreme, but not by those in here. It's got some Christian values that I relate to. Too Christian to be a governor of all religions or no religions? I hear that, but I also think if you're not a wild Christian, then why be a Christian? I mean, you, you have to exercise your faith like that. Chance of Doug for Gov met Mastriano in the big hall ahead of the movie, and the crowd loved when they were told being a Christian nationalist meant being a patriot. The movie touched on familiar themes, unreasonable mandates and shutdowns. You know this is not a mask. This is a muzzle. This woman said she was a Democratic Party organizer fired for refusing to vaccinate. So no, I told them they're hypocrites and I say I have a right to choose what I want in my body. The four Republican leaders in the General Assembly were booed for not doing more to overturn what the film called a blatantly stolen 2020 election. Mastriano was praised for his efforts despite no evidence of election wrongdoing. And traitors were shown for who they really are. A patriotic alternative media and grassroots have risen up to rally the townsfolk. He's fighting. He's he's not afraid to fight. And and tonight was about courage and people standing up and and the people of Pennsylvania, you know, there's a momentum gathering. We think that Doug Mastriano is one of the biggest threats to democracy. Mastriano will not just have to beat Democrat Josh Shapiro, but a number of Republicans campaigning against him aggressively. Doug Mastriano is one of the most far right extreme candidates in the country, and he's running to be the next governor of a crucial battleground state ahead of a presidential uh, election in 2024. And Doug Mastriano blasted what he called the mainstream media for not asking tough questions of the left. But then he left before answering my questions. But I was given unfettered access, just no interview with the candidate.